The mesh is technically complete, but there's just a couple last little things that we need to do to kind of fine tune and clean things up. As I look at this, the sartorius muscle, while it's accurately placed, is still a bit too pronounced. I also want to, compared to the background image, I want to adjust the upper ab muscle just a little bit to follow the flow with the background image a little bit more. This is actually slightly incorrect, but stylistically I really like the way that looks, so we're going to make that adjustment. So we're going to start by going to Modify and actually down to our Editable Poly. Now I want to go all the way down to my Paint to Form, and if I work Push-Pull and just turn it on, I can see that in the Brush Options, Mirror X is not turned on at this point. So we'll close that down and then we want to zoom in. And look, we've got a gigantic brush. So that actually should work pretty well. Now with push pull, I want to set my push pull value to a slightly negative number and then drop that strength down. So now as we brush over that sartorius muscle, we're going to push it back into the mesh a little bit more. So I just want to make sure that it's not as far forward. So that actually looks pretty good there. Now we're going to come with a positive value and we're going to brush over the rectus femoris muscle. That's the big one in the center. And bring that out a little bit. So I don't want to go too far with any of this. These are minor adjustments to just help the overall flow around the mesh. That actually looks a whole lot better. We're going to go drop this down a little bit more again. And this outer muscle here, the vastus lateralis, needs to be pushed back in a little more. Now, I know this guy actually should be pretty kind of tough and beefy as a Old West gambler type. But I want to make sure that he's not too out of proportion or out of character for the setting he's going to be in. So I think that's going to work a little bit better there. So let's look with our Turbo Smooth on and see what we've done to those legs. That vastus lateralis muscle doesn't have quite as much of a crease over here. The sartorius muscle seems to smooth in with the mesh a little bit better. Could probably pull that hip back in a little bit more, but that we wouldn't be able to do with push-pull. That we're going to want to do with some vertex selections and some soft selection. So now as we zoom in here, this whole area of the hip is out a bit too far. So let's grab that from that side. And then let's find where that is over here. So we can attempt to make basically the same selection on the other side of the mesh. Turn on ignore back facing so I can't grab through. And that should be pretty close. So over here we have these two vertices front to back. And here we have a different selection. So we're going to let go of those. Grab those. And that actually looks like the same region on both sides. So now I just want to slightly move that back into my mesh. And I also see that I grabbed some geometry on the back there. My first selection. Let's up the fall off a little bit more. Or let's just grab through the mesh right here. So we can grab on both sides. And then let's slide that back a little bit more into the mesh. Well, that's pretty good, but I also want to add a little bit more down below. And then we'll slide that back and just kind of even out and taper that back in. So I think the prominence of that part of the hip is going to look a bit better now. So I scaled a little bit left to right there. So we bring that a little bit closer to the center. And again, there's no absolute, but as we back up and take a look at our renders, if anything starts to look out of place or like it doesn't flow with the mesh correctly, it needs to be adjusted. So now in this kind of profile shot, that definitely looks and feels better in that region. All right, so let's quickly take a look at this section of the ab muscles. So I want to grab, again, on opposing sides of the mesh. 
And we're just going to take that region and scale it out a bit. And then I want to grab a little bit of the ab muscle itself there and do the same thing to help kind of push that out. Now, anywhere that might have gotten too far out with that, we want to just bring back in slightly. So now the overall feeling here is that the flow of that ab muscle starts a little bit farther out in the front and then narrows and tapers in the center. So let's take a look here and see what that did. So that curve now, that little bit of change there, I think adds a bit more to the mesh. Also toning down the, sartori the sartorius muscle, adjusting that hip bone, and looking at some of the other volume change through the thigh. I think now we're ready to actually call this model finished.